three or more months considering the actuarial career but not actually taking any concrete steps towards it tells me that you've probably got some concerns or fears around the career. You might be thinking, is it too late for me to switch careers? Or what if my GPA is too low? Or what if I'm not smart enough? What if I fail? If I've got you right, then this video is for you. Hey there, I'm Bria, Associate of the Society of Actuaries and Actuarial Career Coach. Now, I just want to say I have been in your shoes before. I completely understand that it can be really hard to move forward on a goal, on a career, when you have questions or doubts in your mind about whether you're going to be able to actually achieve this goal. Here's what I want you to take away from this video. The most important thing is that if you really want to be an actuary, like you really want it badly, then it will happen for you. Yes, there may be things that are going to make the journey more difficult for you than it might be for others. It might take you longer and that is totally okay, but you just have to know that every single problem, every single hurdle has a solution. So you are going to be able to get through it if you are promising to yourself that you are going to stay committed and stay dedicated. When I was going through school, I actually ended up having a fairly low GPA. It was a 2.7 or something, but yeah, it really wasn't that good. And I thought it was going to hold me back from getting an actuarial job, I really did. And what I found out later is that it did sometimes make things a little more difficult. Employers were asking me about that low GPA during interviews. And when I put it on my resume, I'm sure that some employers decided not to even interview me because it was lower. But every single problem has a solution. What I did was I became a top candidate like I talk about on this channel. I worked on getting that bachelor's degree. I worked on passing the exams, getting great technical skills, had internships and related experience. I had great communication skills and all that really allowed me to present myself as someone that was still very capable of doing an actuarial job despite the fact that yeah, I had a lower GPA. And I think these kind of concerns come up for a lot of people. It's not just GPA though. Sometimes it's the fact that maybe you've been out of work for a few years, or maybe it's that you're starting your actuarial journey at a later age in your 20s, 30s, 40s maybe. It could be that you don't have any related experience or an internship. These are concerns I hear from future actuaries all the time about their ability to potentially get an actuarial job. And all I have to say is here, you do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect. What you do need is that commitment and dedication to be willing to do whatever it takes in order to overcome those potential hurdles. Become that top candidate, be able to prove to employers that you are going to be a valuable asset to them. You are going to be able to perform well in an actuarial job, despite the fact that you've been out of work for a few years, or despite the fact that you didn't have an internship, despite the fact that your GPA might be low. These are all things that you can overcome. A lot of the time I also see future actuaries comparing themselves to others. And if this is something you're doing, I highly encourage you to go check out a video I recorded a while ago. I'll link to it right up here and down below in the description where I try to change your mindset on this. Now, what I mean when I say comparison is that maybe you knew someone in school that was starting their actuarial journey around the same time as you or considering it around the same time and then you see that they have two exams passed in an internship whereas you're still here you've just been working and you haven't really put any thought or dedication or energy into your actuarial career you might start to feel like okay i'm really far behind i should have started earlier and thoughts like that are totally reasonable and to be expected. We're all human. We do compare ourselves to others naturally. But the thing is that just because someone else might have all those qualifications now and maybe they are currently looking better as a candidate for actuarial roles than you are, that doesn't mean that you still can't succeed. You don't have to be at the same place as they are right now. You don't have to even achieve the exact same things that they have achieved in order to become an actuary. It's all about you and where you're at right now and what you're willing to do in order to get into that. I've also heard of people delaying their career or delaying the actuarial journey because they're scared to fail. There are 
unfortunately, but maybe it's a good thing in some ways, so many areas that you can fail on an actuarial journey. Big part of it is the exams. Every single exam is tough and so many people fail each exam. So that's right there, one of the big factors. Some people fear that they might not be able to get an actuarial job or an internship at all, or they fear that maybe once they get into the work, they're not going to like it, or that they aren't going to be able to perform well enough, or that they're not smart enough. There are all these fears around the actuarial career and pursuing it that I think holds quite a few people back. But I just want to say to you, because I know this from experience and working with so many other future actuaries, it can be very daunting to go into something that scares you. But you are likely also someone that really likes a challenge. Most future actuaries are. And if you are one of those people, you already know that for most challenging things, failure is just a small part of that. It's going to happen and your ability to overcome that fear and go for it anyway is really what is going to allow you to feel like you've achieved a big thing by the time you're done with it. If this was easy, if there was no failure, this would probably be a career that everyone would go for, or so many people, maybe not everyone, but so many people would go for it because it'd be so much easier. But you are someone that likes a challenge and that's what this career is. It's not going to be easy and it is going to have failures along the way. I also want you to keep in mind that failure doesn't mean that you can't do it. Yes, you might have setbacks along the way, but you can try again. You can try to pass that exam again. You can try applying for more jobs and internships. Whatever fear you might have, you can overcome it and try again. Failure is really just feedback for yourself that, okay, at this exact moment in time, I'm not ready. But I know I can do more to overcome that and eventually be ready. That's the mindset you have to have because failure is never final, especially in the actuarial career. The actuarial career is honestly one of the best out there. I, I do believe that fully. It is such an interesting and unique career to get into. It has a great salary. There's lots of opportunity for growth, even beyond the actuarial field. Like this field opens up career doors for you. So if you decide you don't wanna be an actuary down the road, well, there's going to be lots of doors open for you in other fields. That's another reason why if you are scared to fail, you're always still going to have lots of backup options if you decide you don't want to keep on going. So because of that, I want to make sure that you are consciously making the decision of whether you want to pursue this now or whether you want to delay because you're watching this video likely because you have been considering the career for months or maybe even years now. And maybe you've never actually consciously made that decision that you don't want to do it right now. And that has meant that you have spent months and months considering it and it's been in the back of your mind, but you haven't actually done it yet. So I think it's very important for you to sit down and have a very personal and reflective thought about whether you want to continue to delay this or if you want to go all in right now. Because the sooner you can get going, the sooner you can actually start benefiting from all those amazing parts of the actuarial career. It's totally fine if you decide that you want to delay further, but at least you'll actually be making that decision consciously rather than let it passively happening over and over again every single month. Now, if you want help on your actuarial journey, I am absolutely here for you in any capacity you need. There are tons of YouTube videos on this channel to help you. We have our actuary accelerator community, our study strategy program and I host live trainings for future actuaries fairly frequently as well they are all free so if you do decide that you want to pursue the actuarial career keep an eye out for all of that stuff and if you are someone that has been comparing yourself to others then you absolutely need to go watch this video next because it's going to help you change your mindset around that and realize how the place that you're at right now is actually perfect. It's right where you need to be and there's so much room for potential growth in the future. So go watch that video next.